Doctors, nurses, and hospital staff sounding the alarm as the U.S. now sees the most COVID hospitalizations since the start of the pandemic. I've seen more people die in the last seven days than I've talked to my own family members. Lindsay Panacucci is an ICU nurse in Waterloo, Iowa. She says the unprecedented surge in patients is straining resources. We're seeing community members coming in, they can't breathe anymore, so they come into the hospital, and it just seems to be nonstop. In Sioux Falls, South Dakota, one hospital is facing a daily juggling act. We are at capacity. We're constantly managing our beds. Since November 1st, the total number of hospitalized COVID patients in the United States has doubled, nearing 100,000. In California, officials warn the state could see hospitalizations there triple by Christmas. The governor now considering a wider stay-at-home order. And as New York hospitals scramble to expand capacity, <laughs> nurses at one medical center in Westchester County are on a two-day strike, protesting what they call inadequate staffing. What they are being asked to do, they say, has simply become too much. We've been doing this through COVID, through tears, through not going home, through being sick, through not eating, no breaks. And it's not just the physical toll. Many on the front lines tell us the emotional toll is just as difficult. In some cases, it's like we have done all we can do. And the only thing left for us to do is just hold their hand and be supportive at times. A system already strained with fears the Thanksgiving holiday only fueled the surge. Many medical personnel echoing a simple plea. Take it serious, whether it's you or you never know who you're going to come across that you may affect. Here in New York City, where hospitals like this one were maxed out in the spring, the numbers are back on the rise. The governor of New York is calling on all hospitals in the state to increase their bed capacity by 50 percent. And that call, once again, is out to all retired health care workers to consider coming back on the job.